Hey, this is James Glass, and I'm doing some framing, hence the framing nailer. Um, and I wanted to show you a trick for making really super straight walls, partition walls. Like, it doesn't matter whether it's a basement or whatever. You've got existing framing. Um, you know, you got, you got a floor, and you got some kind of ceiling. In this case, I've got the trusses. This is the way you do it so it's super fast and super straight when you're done. Step one, install your top plate and go ahead and mark off where your studs are going to be. In this case, they're in two foot centers, and I've already marked them off. Top plate is nailed in. I've, it, I've got it nailed into the truss here. And the way I've got this set up and designed is I've got a three quarter inch uh, surface exposed in the truss, so I've got um, exactly what I need to secure my drywall here. Um, and that's great. And then throw your bottom plate sort of in the vicinity of where it's going to go. You'll notice the bottom plate is not secure, right? See that? That's the very last thing you do. Don't screw around with plumb bobs, all that crap. Build your wall from the top down. Once you get your top plate in, measure for every individual stud that's going to be where you need it to be. So I'll measure for this stud. I'll just throw it in the vicinity this of this so it's the right height I'll secure it at the top I'll do that one do that one do that one and then um, <clears throat> I'll tack them to the bottom plate but not secure the bottom plate to the subfloor and then what I'll do is get my handy level out right and level the wall in place and just move the bottom plate around as I need to to get it nice and level. I've already marked where it needs to go so the room is square. So all I've got to do is swing the, the walls hinged at the top and I just swing the bottom to wherever I need it to be checking every stud for level all the way down and then boom done. Then nail my bottom plate in place and I've got a partition wall and I did it really fast. So, just to review, secure your top plate, measure, mark off where your, your studs are going to be. These are two foot centers. Cut your individual studs and secure them at the top only. Leave your bottom plate loose. Secure your studs at the bottom, tack them in place. Do not secure the bottom plate to the subfloor when you're doing that. Make sure you don't shoot the nails all the way through. Using the top as a hinge, and using at least a four foot level, if not a six foot level, go down the wall and make it straight, just knocking the bottom plate into position and then nail the bottom plate. Got a nice, super straight wall. Hey, thanks for watching.